to a lot of chefs, they'll tell you that South Africa doesn't have a cuisine because we are such a multicultural society. My work centers around bringing back a lot of the food that we ate before a lot of the influences came. And how we know our indigenous foods is through stories. I know the indigenous food through my grandmother's stories. My grandmother was an indigenous subsistence farmer, so she grew all the indigenous grains. We've got a lot of food insecurity in South Africa, and bringing back food that's climate smart is the way to heal our land. Apartheid took a lot of things out of our context. So a lot of people grew up in the city without having that indigenous knowledge system. So people look at our indigenous food as poverty food, as food that you don't want to eat. You want to eat the, the, the fast food that they're selling us. In South Africa, we eat a lot of corn. Any South African will tell you, we eat it for breakfast, lunch, dinner. It's like our main thing. Maize came into becoming our staple purely because it was easy to grow. I think in the 60s, 50s, when they literally removed sorghum and all the millets from our diet. The food system that we have now is so broken that a chunk of our, of our lives and a chunk of our health has left our plates purely because some politicians decided that we want to grow maize instead of sorghum because it's cheaper to grow. But as you can see the effects of climate change, it's becoming clear that maize is not even sustainable. Maize needs a lot of water to grow. It needs so much management. Um, whereas sorghum is drought resistant, you don't need to be watering it all the time. Its roots go deep, 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 deep into the soil and they can grab onto the water underneath the soil. I'm trying to move people to a more climate smart sorghum. I'll make porridge with it, I bake with it, I make salads with it. I literally make everything. <laughs> My family eats it almost every day. I love it and it's healthier for you. The whole thing with bringing back um, indigenous crops onto our plate is quite a, a big project. In South Africa, if you grow maize, you get subsidized by the government. Whereas sorghum, you don't. There's a value added tax on sorghum. Uh, and there's none on maize. If you're a small-scale farmer um, and you don't have subsidies to subsidize whatever you're growing, they're not going to grow those things. So that's the problem that we're having right now. We've had droughts for the last five, ten years. We've had serious droughts here in South Africa, you know. When we have droughts, it means we have shortage of maize. And when we have shortage of maize, the food prices go up because maize is basically in everything. What ends up happening is that the food insecurity then goes up because people can't afford basic foodstuffs. Farmers understand. They understand that this is what they need to be growing to regenerate their farms and to regenerate um, their soil. But now we need government to come on board and say, okay, we are trying to bring back these ingredients purely because for climate action and help farmers to grow these ingredients. Thank you.